Hi there, I'm John Muir Laws, and I want to show you a few tricks that will help you see value in the world around you. <clears throat> so if you would like to um, notice the differences between darks and lights with a little bit more finesse, um, I've got a great trick for you, and here it is. What this is, is a little plastic slide frame, foot, a plastic slide frame <laughs> with, with uh, a, green, a green gel filter for stage lighting stuck into the middle of it. Um, so there's a piece of clear plastic in here. Um, and the, the, the brand that I use, um, this, this is a filter from Lee Filters in Andover, England. It's, the color is primary green number 139. So I looked through a whole bunch of different kinds of filters to try to find the one that I thought worked the best. This is the one. Um, others could work. And what you want to do is if you can't find this, this uh, 139, then just look around, find any sort of sheet of green plastic stuff. And what you're going to do is hold it up and look through it and see if it really kind of filters out all the colors you're seeing. This is kind of the effect that you want, all right? So it's this green and black world, kind of night vision style. Notice in, around it, you can't tell what color different things are. So it just gets out of your mind, the, out of your, your, your ability to see. You can no longer see the color. You can only see the difference between light and dark in all the objects that are around you. Light color again. Um, so what I'll do is when I'm out in the field, I'll hold this up to my eye and I'll look through it and I'll see the green world, I'll notice my values. I can even then look down at my paper and see on my watercolor down here, like, oh, that's a really dark thing there. Oh, I don't have that dark here. So this helps me check values. So you can use it to see the values in the world around you and to get past the colors that you have on your own piece of paper and see the values there. Isn't that cool? Why, yes, it is. So you might be thinking, I'd like to have one of these little gizmos. So I'm gonna show you how to make it and construct it after I turn off this phone. And then I am going to, uh, but, I, but I also wanna show you why specifically I'm using the green filter. You see, a long time ago when I first, somebody showed me this trick, they said, look, you can look through a red filter and it cuts out all these other colors. You can use the red filter for this. And I thought, wow, that's great. And I, so I used a red filter for a long time. And, and, but there's an interesting thing when you look through a red filter, the way that the red filter filters out colors is different, surprise, surprise, than a green filter or a blue filter. So let's just take a look at why the green one is the one that you want, unless you are sketching on Mars. Okay, so uh, with that, um, let's just check this out. I have a bunch of colorful stripes here, all right? So here's the rainbow flag, all of these beautiful colors. Now, if you were to look at this through a red and a green and a blue filter, the way you would see these colors would be different. So the first strip, is how it looks through a red filter, this is the green filter, this is the blue filter. And what you see is they all effectively cancel out the colors. They all will effectively cancel out the colors. Unless, of course, you've got a really, really cheap filter that doesn't have a lot of pigment in it, in which case you look through it and things just have a little bit of a green tint, but you can still see the colors. So you don't want those. But on one where it's kind of a dense filter, you're gonna filter out all the colors and it's gonna work in all of these. But here's, here's the important difference, is that the co certain colors are going to be really hyper darkened with different filters. So if you use a red filter, notice that you know the values here are kind of similar, right? But when you get down to things that are green and blue, they get really, really dark. So similarly, um, if you're using a green filter, it will make things that are red and pink really, really dark. And the blue filter will make everything that is red through yellow really, really dark. Hmm. So just think about which of these colors you're going to see the most in nature. Generally speaking, 
Blues and greens show up a lot, a little bit less so with the reds, unless you're sketching on Mars. So if you happen to be sketching in Mar on Mars or in a place where it's all like red rock canyons, um, then maybe you wanna look through a, a filter that's a, a, a different color. But for most of the sketching that you're gonna be doing, this green filter is gonna be your go-to thing. So you, you look at a, a, a landscape, you notice that there's lots of greens and lots of blues going on in there. And then if you put your, um, your red filter on, the sky is going to get too dark and the, anything that is forest, the green is gonna to get too dark. So notice how it has really darkened the color, uh, the values in these, these areas here. The sky has gotten a lot darker like in this because it's a blue, um, less so in green. So I find green the real go-to filter color. So now let's take a look at how to make one of these yourself. Isn't that cool? That's what the green filter does. So all those colors gone. All those colors just blocked out. So let's figure out how to make one of those. And here we go. So I have a little piece of leaf filter right here. And um, I have a slide frame. So you can buy uh, plastic slide frames. Um, these leaf filters, the filter sheets come in a very large sheet, so you can cut it down into strips and you'll have plenty for yourself and for your friends. So uh, kind of go in with your homeschool co-op group and just buy one big sheet, divide it up amongst everybody and everybody's happy. Or find some art friends or make them for your local school's um, art room. Make a bunch of green filters for them because you'll have a bunch left over. Um, and what I do is I just trim it should be roughly the right size. And I just sort of see, will that fit in there? I know it's a little bit overlapping on that side. You want to kind of trim it in little stages because if you trim off too much, you'll be sad. But that'll work great. All right. And drop the top on. Press it down, the little kind of snap together filters. And, um, and you're good to go. You've got your own little green filter for looking at whatever it is that you, you want to see. And you'll see the way it, uh, there we go. All of a sudden you're not seeing color. You're seeing just light and dark. And it's, it's a lot easier to see when you're not distracted by by the hasp of color. Very useful thing. Um, make yourself a little green slide filter. Make some for your friends. Share them around. All right, everybody. Stay safe. Be kind. And get sketching out there. The world is beautiful. And we uh, let's make the most of it by exploring and, 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 and celebrating, protecting this beautiful place that we live. That's done with the sketchbook in your hand. Thank you. I'm John Mirlaz.